I also just want to ask you something. Like, are you going to get into, like, any legal trouble at all, like, spilling any of this? My contract's gone, so we're good. So you can say whatever the fuck you want. I'm basing this off of personal experiences and experiences based off of my friends. Um, so all of it's 100% true. I know. Hi guys, it's Colin Berry. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you know my extra ass, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing another conspiracy theory, only there's a twist, as you saw. It gets really, really, like, dark, so I wanna also give, like, a warning to people who don't do well with paranormal shit, like, people who don't like watching creepy videos. I don't wanna give anyone nightmares. It definitely is very sinister. Even interviewing him, it was, like, a lot. I was starting to feel very paranoid. <laughs> What the fuck? My computer's acting so weird right now. It's like glitching and shit. I don't like fucking demons. I don't want bitches trying to come for me. So the Haunted Mansion is like actually a creepy one because I've experienced things there. Um, because when I was custodial, people actually take people's ashes and throw them into the ride. Oh shit, I actually heard about that. Family members sneak the ashes in plastic bags and in pill bottles. They then spread them on landscaping, flower beds, the water rides. They, I mean, all kinds of places around the park. Well, as a custodian, it literally looked like I was wearing these Ghostbuster backpacks and we would have to go in the ride and literally vacuum up these ashes. And it was really creepy, but also sad because people thought, oh, my relatives are going to live in a haunted mansion forever, but they're living in a backpack in a dumpster somewhere. Like, we throw that away. Oh my god, that's- no, stop. That- stop. I can't. I can't. That just, like, broke my heart, like, into a million pieces. From multiple accounts, I have friends that work that attraction. They would be at, like, load. Load is where you get on the ride all by themselves, and they would just feel like something tug on the back of their jacket. There'd be no one behind them, and, like, no one's been got on the ride recently. The number one thing every person I've talked to and I've personally experienced is a little boy. The little boy is looking for his mother, and, like, you'll sometimes hear him just say, like, Mom, or, like, you'll hear him crying. And also, one of my friends has seen a lady get off the ride in a wedding yes gown. she got up but nobody outside saw her come through nobody saw her get on the ride like she just exited the ride that is fucking terrifying because of the ashes that have been spread there um you know like they're probably not being cleaned up 100 percent. like it's mm -hmm. not like we're spraying it down mopping it every time right so there might be little particles left and that could be keeping those people tied to that ride so if you're getting those chills in that ride, it might not just honestly be the ride. It could literally be somebody talking to you. Oh, shit. When I was custodial, I experienced things where I would feel like presence with me, but there would be no one there. I felt someone grab me when I was at the exit one day and nobody was there. And I was like, maybe I'm just fucking believing, like believing this rumor to be true. And then I was riding the ride one day. And I just wanted to look around. I've been on the ride so many times. And I look in the corner, and there was literally a man standing there, crossed arms, looking at the boat. I broke down. Like, I had a full-on panic attack. Like, full-on fucking panic attack. I told the people, like, hey, there's somebody on the ride. Like, And, like, one of my friends was telling me later, so there was no one we found, but there was, a uh, like, a sensor tripped. So, like, whether it was actually somebody there... Or the legendary George is what they call him. George was a mechanical engineer on the ride when it was okay. being And he supposedly tripped on a beam and fell to his death. Oh, shit. Um, one of my friends was being trained for the ride. And I actually got told this story today, actually. His trainer was, like, showing him all the areas. And they went up to where they call it the beam. Like, they call the George beam. Like, where he tripped. And there was a mechanical worker up there. And he tripped on the beam, but, like, just kept walking. And the trainer looks at my friend and goes, I've never seen that guy ever before. And never once did they see that mechanical worker again. There's no doubt in my mind that there is a ghost there. Whether it was this mechanical worker named George, there is a ghost that's haunting the pirates in Walt Disney World. Another story... My friend was at unload for the ride and they sent through 
a empty boat. On that empty boat, a guy gets off and looks at my friend and goes, the ride's about to go 101, which means it's going to break down. Like it happens all the time. So just piece it together. Empty boat comes back with a person on it, tells them the ride's about to break in 10 minutes. The guy walk, like leaves. The ride breaks in 10 minutes, like 10 minutes later. It was down for three hours. So uh-huh. mechanical worker, sounds like it. He's there and he acts like he works there. So you would think he's a worker, but he's not. Right, like he was the person building the ride and he like fell to his death and he just haunts the ride. Multiple of my friends have actually been into the apartment. They feel something. But being a Disney fan, when I say they feel something, I feel like they're just meeting like, I'm excited, I'm in Walt Disney's apartment, like blah, 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 you know? But no, one of my friends was like, no, like I literally felt energy, like something was there. And there is multiple viewpoints on this story that I'm about to tell you. And it's from where they used to not have the light lit in his apartment. It just used to be there. People knew it was his apartment. And um, his light would just come on every night. Nobody would light it. And it was like people would go up there, kind of like cut it off or like whatever, put it out. And then it happened again. So that's why like they say that they keep it lit for his memory and I like 100% believe that's true but honestly I think it's keeping it lit because that's what he wanted because that's what he kept like hinting I want this lit so they always have that like light burning people who are watching that don't know much about paranormal activity and I don't know much but I've talked to some people about it recently and ghosts there are two ways that people haunt things it's a you know they died and they want people to know about the tragic way they died so they stay there to either show people the way they die, to like try to get attention, to unsolve mysteries or unsolve murders and things like that. They stay, you know, because they're like evil spirits and they want to, you know, taunt people, or they stay because they want to stay around something that meant a lot to them so obviously we know walt disney like disney world was like his thing like his life his legacy everything so disneyland yeah sorry it would just make sense that he would linger there one of my friends um he was cleaning the inside of like the cheero cart and the popcorn cart or whatever and there was nobody around that was closing whatever and so like literally you could see he was beside the castle and you could see the main area you could see both ways like clear so if somebody was coming you would see it so he goes into the cart and he starts smelling like a cherry cigar and he comes out and like he sees a man on the bench smoking and he stares for a little bit and the man is literally in a suit smoking a what it smells like a cherry cigar and the guy is just sitting there he was just in the wrong time period and so he just went back in to start cleaning the thing and because he was kind of like eh. and he looked out the cart and nobody was there not around at all but like there was still lingering cherry cigar and his coordinator came up later and he started telling him so i like i saw this man and and he goes in the tux did you smell a cigar and he was like yeah and he goes you've seen him now too a lot of us have seen him and we think it's walt because walt's favorite cigar was a cherry cigar so he was just seeing that the park was being closed and like overseeing that it was being taken care of i can't say whether or not that is true or not because i'm not sure um i've been told it's not but i've also been told that they were not 100% sure because people were evacuated that day in the, on the ride for no apparent reason. But it looks like somebody just might have played a prank and it could be one of the dolls from the ride. But also, like, if you look how far away it is, it could totally be a body. I've also um, heard the thing about, like, it's a small world, things being in one place one day and, like, they're in another scene another day. Like, some of my friends, not Disney World, but some of my friends in Disneyland says, like, 100% true. They're not sure if that's, like, mechanics just playing a joke and they're like, okay, let's put it here. But, like, there would be certain characters in another scene or another location than they usually Oh my fucking gosh. I know that that was a lot. I hope that you guys are okay. Like, fuck. That fucked 
fucked me up. I had nightmares last night. Nightmares. It's so fucking creepy. I don't even know if I really want to go to Disney World anymore. And I'm not trying to like ruin everyone else's experience or if somebody loves Disney World. Like, that's not the point of this. It's just really creepy. And you've heard this before. Like, you know, we've seen this online. But to hear this from somebody who actually worked there and to know that this is not fabricated and it's 100% truth. That is what fucks with me so much. Comment below what surprised you the most about this video or what you already knew. And also subscribe to Davey because I'm sure you probably want to talk about some more crazy shit on your channel, right? So link in description, go subscribe to him. And um, you should probably just do like a part two to this like and post it like the same week or some shit because I'm sure there's a lot more like Disney facts or other things that you might want to talk about that might not have been able to be included in this video for time's sake. Also click that like button once again, smack the shit out of it, like drag it by the weed, don't be nice to it, why? I also have a ton of other conspiracy theory content that you can watch by clicking this box right here. You know you wanna watch it, come on, come on. I got some creepy shit, I got Men in Black, I got Mandela effects, I got Disney channel conspiracies. But with that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you super soon with a new video. Bye. <laughs>